this is one of the most difficult puzzles I've ever uh, watched. I saw this on the channel and I decided to share it with you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So we are told that A, B, C, D multiplied by 4 is equal to B, C, D, A. And we are asked to find the values of B, C, B, and A. Okay. First of all, we know that we have four digit numbers here. If we pick a number at random, for example, three, two, one, two, and we multiply it by four. We have four times two, eight. Four times one is four. Four times two is eight. Four times three is 12. Can you see something? You will notice that we now have five digit numbers the solution. But here, we have four digit numbers the solution. So it simply means that our number A cannot start with three, cannot be three. So because if it's from three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and they go, we are going to have five digit number as our solution. So that gives us the first idea of what our A could be. So it simply means that our A, excuse me, A can be 0, 1, or 2. It can be more than those. Because if it's more than those, we are going to have two digit number here, which is not what we have here. Now, how do we now verify if it is 0, if it is 1, and if it is 2? Now we have A here again. Remember that 4 times D will give us the number that will be here. And 4 times any number will always give us an even number. Okay? So 4 times a number, 4 multiplied by X will always be even, no matter what. And number 1, A cannot be 0. If A is 0, then we're supposed to have 3 digits here. So that disqualifies this. A cannot be 1 because with that, uh, A here will be 1 and the answer we got will be odd instead of even. So it is only 2 that satisfies this idea. So it simply means that A must be 2. Okay? I told you this question is crazy. <laughs> so we are going to replace our A with 2. Please hit the subscription button, turn your notification bell. If this is the first time you are seeing us, give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. Always check on us. There must be something new for you to watch by God's grace. Like, comment, and share. We really appreciate that. Okay? So we are going to replace A with 2 now. So we write 2, B, C, D, multiplied by 4 to give us to give us D, C, B, 2. All right. That's aside. Now, we have 4 times 2 here. It should give us 8. But you know that it is possible that there is a carry from here. Okay? And since this is 8, all right, the only carry we can have here is only one. That way, our D is either 8 or 9. If we have a carry that is more than 1, let's say we carry 2 from here, we are going to have 4 times 2, 8, plus 2, 10. And that makes this number 5-digit number. So definitely, if there were to be a carry, okay, the carry must be just 1. So that means that our D is either 8 or 9. Now, how do we verify our answer? Remember that 4 times D will give us a number that ends with 2. Then we carry the carry over. So now let's check. 4 times 8 is 32. Can you see that? But 4 times 9 is 36. So 6, this is out of it. Because it must end with 2 in order to qualify to be our D when we compare it from this side. So in conclusion, our D is what? 8. 
interesting right so now we'll write 2 b c 8 our uh, d is 8 times 4 we give us d is 8 8 c b 2 all right so we still need to get the values of b and the values uh, the value of b and the value of c so how do we do that is still tactical but easy okay so this is what we do we keep comparing four times b is c mm. all right now we remember that four times two is eight that means there is no carry from b at all we do not carry anything from b yes four times two is eight meaning that nothing is carried from here so it simply means that b can either be zero one or two because four times zero we give us zero which is a possible value of c four times one we give us four which is a possible value of c four times two we give us eight which is a possible value of c but it cannot be three because that way four times three is twelve we will write two and carry one but there is no carry here according to what we have here so it means that our answer is either zero one or two all right now how do we verify to be 100 percent sure that our answer is zero or that our answer is one or that the answer is two okay now this is what we will do note that we have eight times four gives us a number that ends with two but that is not it no this is what this number must be divisible by four since we got it from this times this and for a number to be divisible by four the last two digits must be divisible by four that is law of divisibility mm -hmm. a number is divisible by four if the last two digits forms a number divisible by four so we are going to apply this law of divisibility so if we apply it now if we say our b is zero that means we are going to have zero to right if if we say our b is one then we are going to have 12 if we say that our b is two we are going to have 22 now let's check which of them is divisible by four zero two is it divisible by four no 22 is it divisible by four no but 12 is divisible by four so that confirms that one will be the value of b so we are going to now replace this with one and replace this with one so we are now left with only c how do we get c Excuse me, I need to confirm something from my phone to be sure that it's still recording. Okay, now we want to get the value of our C, right? And like I said, it's actually very easy. We start with this. 4 times 1 we give us our C, right? So if there is no carry, our C could be 4. That is 4 times 1 is 4 but it is possible that there is a carry from this one right and in that case the carry has to be one two three four five six no one two three four five it can't be six because when you say six times four times one is four plus six is ten so we add zero and carry and there is no carry for this at all so as we cannot be anything more than when four when five is added to this so that means we have 4 plus 1, 5 plus 2, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is the only values of 4 that is possible. Only values of C that is possible. All right. But there is something we have that will clarify us. Which of them is actually the value of C? 
Now remember that we have 4 times 8, we got 32. So we wrote 2 and carried 3. So 4 times C plus 3, we give us a number that ends with 1. 4 times C plus 3, we give us a number that ends with 1. So we found that, that 4 times C plus 3, we give us a number that ends with 1. So we are going to check which of these numbers will give us a number that ends with 1 when we multiply it by 4 and add 3 to it. So let's go. So if we say that our C is 4, it's going to be 4 times 4 plus 3. Let's check. Now 4 times 4 is 16 and 16 plus 3 is 19. So that will not go. No. So this is 5. So we are going to have 4 times 5, right? Plus 3. 5 times 4 will give us 20. 20 plus 3 is 23. So that will not go as well. Let's check 6. 6 times 4 plus 3. 6 times 4 is 24. And 24 plus 3 is 27. Uh -uh. It doesn't end with 1. So let's try 7. 7 times 4 is 28. And 28 plus 3 is 31. So this can go, but we are not yet sure. Let's check other ones. Now, 8 times 4 is 32. And 32 plus 3 is 35. No. 9 times 4 is 36. And 36 plus 3 is 39. So you can see that the only thing that satisfies our equation is what? 7. So it simply means that our C is 7. Yeah. So this is 7. And this is 7. Now let's see. We have 2, 1, 7, 8, and we have 8, 7, 1, 2, 8, 7, 1, 2. That's correct, right? So let's verify. Let's verify. 4 times 8, 32, right? 2 carry 3. 4 times 7, 28, plus 3, 31, right? 1 carry 3. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7. 4 times 2 it is 8. And that shows that we are correct. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you in my next video.